Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our fourth example of a general situation where we have a parabolic shape here that we're trying to find the second moment of area of with respect to the y-axis. Now, I believe we can do this with a single integral if we choose our dA to be an area element like this. So if this is going to be our dA, that will be equal to the height, which is y times the width, which is going to be a dx. And because of that, we can do this with a single integral. So let's plug that into our equation. This is equal to the integral, and of course, x is the distance to the, um, to the area element from the y-axis. So we get x squared times dA, which is y times dx. And now we have to replace y, what's it, what it is equal to in terms of uh, x. So that means that this is going to be equal to the integral from uh, x squared times y, which is ax squared times dx. And we're going to integrate from 0 to L, L being the length of this shape, 0 to L, which means that this is equal to A times the integral from 0 to L of x squared, oh, not x squared, but x to the fourth power dx. Now, if we want to express this in terms of h and l, not in terms of a, we need to find the relationship between a, h, and l. We can say that if y is equal to h, then x will be equal to l. If we plug those two values in for y and x here, we get the following. So here we get y, which is h, is equal to a times x, which is l, and of course x is squared, which means that a can be written as h divided by l squared. And let's do that. Let's replace this by h over l squared, which means that the second moment of area with respect to the y-axis is equal to h divided by l squared times the integral from 0 to l of x to the fourth power dx. Now we're ready to integrate. That becomes, we have h divided by l squared times x to the fifth over 5 evaluated from 0 to l. When we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing, and that's a sad looking 5. There we go. Plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. Plug in the upper limit, we get h over l squared times l to the fifth over 5. And notice that l squared cancels out l to the fifth. That becomes l to the third. And this gives us one-fifth hl cubed. Now, the reason why I say that this is probably correct, unless I made some error somewhere, is that at least unit-wise, we have length to the fourth power h to the first power, length to the third power combined. That gives us length to the fourth power, which means we would have units of meters to the fourth power, which is the units of the second moment of area. So it looks like that that's probably correct, and that's how we find the second moment of area of a parabolic shape like that. That's how it's done.